Self-observation is a special kind of directed attention, where we pay attention to our internal world and try to view it objectively, as a stranger would. Implicit in self-observation is that we do not identify with our eyes, but look at them impartially. As soon as we identify with an eye, self-observation is lost. This attention has certain guidelines of observation. Vespensky describes self-observation in the psychology. It is necessary to observe different functions and distinguish between them, remembering, at the same time, about different states of consciousness, about our sleep, and about the many eyes in us. Through self-observation, the words of the system become personal experiences. We verify them. In addition to the things Spensky lists, which are the most important ones, we might add features, buffers, body type, essence, hydrogens, and so on. It is like coming to know the various creatures that live inside and giving them names. We slowly become objective to ourselves. If we try to observe ourselves in this way, we find we can't do it for long. It quickly gets lost in the flow of the many eyes. Aspensky writes that, Observation is made difficult by the incessant stream of thoughts, images, echoes of conversation, fragments of emotions, flowing through your mind, and very often distracting your attention from observation. Also, the moment you start self-observation, something in you starts imagination. And self-observation, if you really try it, is a constant struggle with imagination.